Hello people, in this video let us look at the management of uh, malignant melanoma. So what investigations you will order and then uh, uh, what investigations you will order to look for metastasis. Right, then we will look at what the differential diagnosis of melanoma. Then we will look at the actual treatment. Okay guys, so uh, now let's get started with uh, this uh, investigations. Shall we take a recap of what we have seen so far guys in uh, pathology videos etc. So in your skin, in the epidermis, you have in the stratum, uh, stratum bisale, uh, you have the melanocyte. This makes melanin. So whenever you are uh, exposing yourself to um, sun, right, UV light, etc., there is uh, this uh, existing nevus can undergo change or there can be some new uh, mole that is coming in your body, which looks something like this, where it is borders are irregular. You can see the color is so variable. And uh, it's kind of spreading or elevating. So this is an indication of melanoma, which is malignant, which is bad. You'll have to take early treatment for this. Okay. So this is um, whenever there is a exposure to UV light, if a higher age of the patient, if they have family history, right, if they have some uh, genetic mutation, we'll come to that. So here they are saying the person who is more uh, susceptible is a blonde, blue-eyed, um, bronzed. I think that means more like tanned person right because of uv light so uh, the genes that are affected fibroblast growth factor okay this one you should remember the proto oncogene right and uh, then some cyclin dependent kinase there is a uh, mutation of the tumor suppressor so chromosome they are telling there is a chromosome affected 10 and 8 etc 9 also is it so a lot of things are affected and uh, that's it guys. So these are the uh, causes you can understand. So what exactly does uh, melanocyte do? It can, it makes melanin. So how does it make melanin? From this uh, uh, dihydroxyphenylalanine that is dopa, it is making melanin. Okay. So this is a positive dopa reaction where you are converting this dopa into melanin. This dopa is very different from dopamine, is it? Because this is not a neurotransmitter, right? Okay. So now let us go to um, malignant melanoma. So how does it appear? How will this patient be? We told you how, what type of patient will come to you. So basically here they will come with um, this uh, irregular uh, shaped nevus, right? We told you like this, something like this, they'll come with variegated pigmentation, irregular border, right? You should know this. This is very, very important. And uh, it, sometimes it can ulcerate, okay? There can be bleeding and increasing in size. So this is very important. This will, This can ulcerate, okay? And how will the ulcer be? It will be pigmented. Yes, in uh, it will not be indurated. There will be a halo around the ulcer. There can be satellite nodules. Here they are showing you a, a satellite nodule a little away from the actual uh, uh, treated melanoma. There is a, a satellite nodule a little away, right? All this can be there. So basically ulceration will be there, remember? And um, what is this? So they can have a pre-existing one which is changing color and all that. Okay, you should be very careful about those things. So what and all you will see, how will you differentiate it from a nevus, which is very benign. Uh, uh, this ma malignant melanoma will have asymmetry. It will not be symmetrical like this is a spherical kind of a thing or a circle. This was not symmetrical. There is border irregularity. There is change in color. The diameter is greater than 6 millimeter and it can evolve. It will change and it can elevate also. Okay, so whenever there is something changing in size, shape, color, uh, ulcerating, bleeding, crusting, if there is some sensory change, if the diameter is more, uh, you should seek a doctor's help, okay, because early cure to malignant melanoma is the best, okay. Clinical features, well, how do you differentiate a nevus and malignant melanoma? Malignant mel melanoma, we just now told you those uh, asymmetry, etc. Inflammation will be present, okay. And uh, whenever you see microscopy, you will see malignant cells, atypia, mitosis, nucleoli will be prominent, etc. You will see some patterns also in the histology, we'll come to that. And uh, this one they are showing you of oral cavity, so it can affect the oral cavity also. And this is malignant melanoma of choroid. So uh, if it is in the choroid, uh, then uh, we'll not think about other parts getting it because lymphatic drainage is very less for this. But hematogenous spread can be there. Okay, that's what the book says. Now, uh, grossly, you have seen gross. Uh, we have seen uh, types of uh, malignant melanoma. You have seen lentigo maligna melanoma, which has good uh, progress uh, prognosis. This one is uh, from a pre-existing lentigo. They are saying you can see here. This is lentigo. Maligna melanoma, okay, 
So um, in C2, they are using the word is it. Then you have the superficial that is slightly elevated. Superficial spreading melanoma, this one. Look at this one. Uh, superficial spreading melanoma, this one is. And um, then you have acralentigenous uh, melanoma. This is nothing but hand and foot melanoma, if they say. This one is rare, okay, but it is having the it is having bad prognosis. It's not good. So this one they are telling you is um, not this one. This one. This one is um, acral lentigenous membrane melanoma of the sole of the foot. That's what hand and foot melanoma. Okay, look at this. How it is? You can see this pigmentation on the skin and even the nail, right? So this is acro acral acral lentigenous. Okay, then you have one more here. That is uh, nodular melanoma. It has the worst prognosis. Prognosis they are saying. Look at this one here. Does this look like nodular to you? Nodular melanoma. They don't like this at all. Worst prognosis. Then you have desmoplastic melanoma. They'll have neural invasion. We don't like. Then there is one more melanoma called a melanotic melanoma. This will be pink. They are saying. Okay, a melanotic melanoma. This also you can say has worst prognosis because. Uh, it is worse than uh, nodular. They are saying the same melanotic melanoma, which would be pink. This also worst prognosis. Okay, so um, now let us look further. So we have looked at the gross types, right? Um, then let us look at the histology. Histology you have seen in pathology, right? So how can you detect melanin? How can you detect melanin? There are some stains for this. Uh, Fontana Mason stain dopa reaction. Basically, you will take a biopsy from these people, okay, and then you will study this uh, skin, right? You can see giant cells. You can see nucleus being pleomorphic. Nucleoli will be conspicuous. Mitotic figures, okay. Cytoplasm is amphophilic. They are saying there is junctional activity here. You can see between the epidermis and the dermis, they have marked here as junctional activity, right? Then um, <clears throat> the tumor cells can be arranged in patterns like solid masses, sheets, islands, alveoli, etc. Just go down here and you can see these um, uh, melanocytes completely in the dermis, right? So many uh, sheets, uh, lines and all, they are arranged like that, right? And you can see a lot of extracellular pigment. You can see fine melanin pigment. This melanin pigment, we, we told you, you can detect by the DOPA reaction and the Fontana Masson stain, they said. And uh, you can also check immunochemical, histochemically, these melanoma cells are positive for HMB45, that is human melanoma black, okay. So this is how you will um, <coughs> uh, detect melanin, okay. And you will see inflammatory infiltrate. So do not forget in melanoma, see it started off with the epidermis where you had the melanocyte here initially, right. This is how we started off showing you there's a melanocyte here innocent guy sitting here actually innocent guy sitting here this is how your screen will have the melanocyte but here you can see uh, the melanocytes are jumping all over the place there is junctional activity it has also invaded the epid uh, the dermis right so this is what you'll see in the histology you can also detect the melanin stain okay and uh, sometimes in the dermis or subcutaneous tissue uh, which you cannot see superficially looks like uh, it will be uh, you can see some in transit, some cells will be there. Say, up only this much may be there, right? But inside, and then in the layers, you can see in transit lesion, okay? Then uh, this is how the malignant melanoma looks. Junctional activity, they have shown here from the textbook, you can see. They have shown melanoma cells, right, in the epidermis and then the dermis, okay? So this is how they are showing in high resolution. Okay, so let's go down here. Uh, so uh, you have also looked at uh, the uh, staging, right? Uh, Clark Clark levels. Clark levels is if it is in the uh, invasion. If it's still in the epidermis, is one. If it is in the papillary dermis, it is two. If it is uh, in uh, between the papillary and reticular dermis, it is three. Level three. And if it is in uh, reticular dermis, uh, there is invasion till reticular dermis, it is stage 4. If it has invaded subcutaneous fat, it is stage 5. So this is about Clark levels, okay. Then uh, there is AJCC, that is American Joint Committee on Cancer Staging. It is the depth of invasion, same thing. So this is the staging, so just like a TNM staging. So you have the tumor, then uh, uh, lymph node. Guys, are you focusing? Look at this. So here they are talking about the tumor, then the lymph node and then the metastasis. So this is the T, N, 
M staging. This is also uh, AJCC, that is American Joint. What was that? American Joint Committee on Cancer Staging. So you have uh, uh, TNM. You will put TNM, and based on the TNM, you will give the stage to it. Okay. So basically, you can see here that uh, they are saying they are giving very much importance to importance to ulceration. Okay. Ulceration, they are giving importance. Then what else they are giving importance to? One more thing. See, they said that thickness and ulceration is given a lot of importance. Okay. Rather than what is this? Why did this get cut? Hold on. See, in the Clark, right? He was only talking about the level of invasion. No. You should not focus on level of invasion. You should focus on the ulceration, the thickness. Okay, this is very important. Ulceration. Then how many nodes, lymph nodes, are affected? That is also a very important thing. Looks like so the AJCC is better, and then LDH lactate lactate dehydrogenase, right? So this also they are looking for, right? Then if there is ulceration, three stages are upgraded. Satellite nodules also they don't like. In transit, if you see some deposits, that means something is proceeding. Transit, it's going somewhere. That also they don't like. So AJCC is giving importance to ulceration, the nodes, the metastatic nodes, the lactate dehydrogenase, satellite nodules, in transit deposits, etc. Is it becoming way too much, guys? Okay. So what are we looking at today? <clears throat> today we are looking at malignant melanoma. Early stage, if you treat it, is good. Later, it spreads, 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 and it's very difficult to treat, and uh, the person can have a very painful death. That's what we are seeing here. So let's proceed now. <coughs> so we are back to this uh, where we wanted to come uh, for this video: management, treatment of malignant melanoma. Right. So you will take an excisional biopsy. If it is a small lesion, you can just uh, excise it, right? Excisional biopsy you can do, and you can study uh, it. Uh, uh, else, if it is a large one, you can do an incisional biopsy because you don't want to uh, cause any defigurement for that person. Then you can do a uh, lymph node uh, FNAC, etc. And uh, cons uh, then uh, lymph node uh, FNAC you do. And then what you do is uh, you look for chest X-ray, CT scan, ultrasound, etc., looking for metastasis. And based on this AJCC staging system. You stage the disease. Okay, then yes, investigations is over. Now let's go to the differentiation. So you should be able to differentiate it from basal cell carcinoma, which is pigmented, or <coughs> histiocytoma, or it could be a normal nevus, Kaposi sarcoma. Where do you see Kaposi sarcoma? <coughs> Cavernous hemangioma. This would be more of red. We feel red. Kaposi sarcoma usually purple, you can say. Okay, <clears throat> so you should differentiate from the this from all those conditions. Okay, then uh, how will you <clears throat> treat? See, if you treat early, it is better. You can potentially cure it. They are not saying that you will hundred percent cure it. Potentially, you can cure it. They are saying, but if it is not treated, it disseminates rapidly and. Showers the body with tumor emboli and offers a very painful death. So that is why we put this image to show you that it spreads really fast, and uh, that is why they are saying if you do not treat it, it just spreads rapidly, and the person can have a very painful death. Okay, so um, the only cure is appropriate surgery. I would say prevention is there here, where you do not go to the sun a lot, but sun is also good for us, isn't it? Anyways, the only cure is uh, appropriate surgery. Uh, what you will do? Excision. That's it, guys. Just write excision in the exam. And how, what type of excision? Complete excision, wide excision. Take five millimeter around it. If it is uh, deep, take one centimeter around it. If it is deeper, take two centimeter around it. That's it. Okay. Bring this guy here, and I will excise him. See, okay. I will assume he is really deep. So what I'm going to do is two centimeter, one centimeter, two centimeter, and I'm going to. One centimeter, two centimeter. I'm just going to excise this totally, this much of patch. That's it. This is the treatment for malignant melanoma. Okay, they have given some table here. If it is less than this much of thickness, how much? Well, two centimeter is maximum. Okay, we are talking about two centimeter wide excision. Okay, if it is some finger and uh, it is subungual and all that, they are talking about just ampute the digit itself. Okay, then um, uh, what is this of choroid? If the eyes are affected, then what you should do? Um, what should you? Enucleation of the eye. They're telling you can treat it by removing the eye. That's not so good. 
actually what they are doing for this malignant melanoma of choroid, no, they are scanning, they are finding out which the feeding blood vessel is, etc. Right, and then they are doing some uh, try methods to save the eyeball, brachytherapy, radiotherapy, then thermotherapy, standard things that you will do. Okay, so that is what they are doing for malignant melanoma. Okay, same thing. Go transclerally resect it, radio surgery with gamma knife, enucleate ex enteration. This is like removing the eye, eyeball around it. So all that if it has affected the eye. Okay. So did you understand? So we just elaborated on this malignant melanoma of choroid. What to do? Okay. Now let's continue. Uh, lymph node, what to do? We'll block dissection. If it is little far away, radical block dissection based on the location, ilioinguinal block dissection, ilioobturator block dissection, regional lymph adenectomy. All standard things you'll write for cancer, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. Chemotherapy, they're talking about Dakarbazine. Dakarbazine. What a name. DTIC. D-methyl triazinyl imidazole carboxamide. That is uh, DA. How did DA come? How did CAR come? CAR is here. Okay. Dakarbazine. Dakarbazine for melanoma. Okay. Then isolated limb perfusion only if it is one part of your body limb. Then they are uh, only to that they are giving melphalan, melphalan, melphalan and DTIC. What is DTIC? The carbazine, the carbazine. Say these two names guys. Melpha, melpha, the carbazine, okay. Mel, melphalan, 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 okay. Immunotherapy, interferon, monoclonal antibodies you can give. Then adjuvant therapy, this is what uh, the textbook Bailey and Love is telling, okay. So here they are talking about some very complicated words, targeted therapy, Dabrafenib, Vimurafenib, Tramitinib, if you can remember these. They are doing some kind of a very specific thing about some mutation. If you want, you can look at this. Okay. Anyways, you understood basically what did you understand? This malignant melanoma, early you should treat, otherwise it will spread. So what is the treatment? Excise it, remove it. That's it. Then lymph nodes, go and dissect them. Lymphadenectomy, all that you do. Okay. Radiotherapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, adjuvant therapy, everything you do. Okay. What is the prognosis? Final slide. This is the last slide. Don't worry people. This is the last slide. How will the prognosis be? Like we already told you, early treatment can be cured. Otherwise painful death. Higher mitotic index is there than poor prognosis. Lymph node metastasis means poor prognosis. That's it. So if lesional lymph nodes are affected, then there can be distant metastasis. So that is what they are saying about malignant melanoma. It doesn't look good, right? Hope you are safe, guys. Bye-bye.